What's going on guys? Kevin Fox from Fox Fishing here. So this is just a quick tip uh, for downrigging. So one of the things I do on my downriggers is I run a thicker cable here um, up until my line. And then as you can see on there, it's all spooled with braid. You can use either Scotty braid or uh, Power Pro. The Scotty, I usually use 200 pound. I find the 250 start getting a little more blowback. It's way more forgiving than uh, stainless steel cable. Um, and I can even give you an example. If you're ever fishing lake trout or something, and you hit bottom, your cable is going to jump off your spool and spill everywhere. Um, if you get any little bends or nicks or kinks in it, you have to cut that out because one of these days you get a little kink in it. Sure enough, one day it's going to go, tink, gone. Cannonball's gone. Perfect example is I've got cable spooled on this um, spool. I was going to offer a friend, see if he wanted 200 or 250 feet of cable if he wanted to replace his. But to give you a quick example of how nasty this shit is, I'm going to show you something. So here's my spool of cable. And there it is. There. Oh, see, look at that. Let's say um, we drop this down and I hit bottom. If I take my thumb off this cable, watch what it'll do. Well, it's kind of probably stuck on the tape. If I just give this... There, it's stuck on the tape. I, had, I taped the end. There. That's another thing. Cable kinks and gets stuck on itself. So if I take it off the tape... Man. And I hit the bottom. It's still getting hung up. You'll see that it'll start to, if it's not hung up, see it's got little kinks in it. But it's knotted on me already. I am hooked up here. Should have used the GoPro, sorry guys. Okay. I got that unhooked. Let's say you hit the bottom. This stuff, it's stuck on the tape again. Let's see, oh, there it goes. That's doing it all by itself. I'm not doing anything. And that's not gravity or anything. That's just this shit spewing off. There, it's got hooked on the tape again. If I just even pop that off. <laughs> It'll completely uncoil itself. This stuff is shit. So if you have a downrigger, especially a Scotty, get rid of your cable. Uh, put some high, high power braid on there. If you have a cannon, it's not going to work for you because the way the cannons work with their auto stop is uh, they send out a current. So you need to have the steel cable for the current for it to know for the auto stop. But yeah, here, look, it's knotted in here again. Hooked on itself. As you can see, this stuff kinks and knots. Jesus. Like, it'll, it'll completely unspool its entire self. I'm trying to turn my garage door light on. A little motion sensor. As you can tell, if I put it even down here, it'll still unspool itself. It's not gravity doing it. There, look, it even wrapped up around my arm. So, yeah. That whole spool unspooled itself. This stuff is crazy. So, get rid of your cable. Get some Power Pro, get some Scotty Premium Braid, whatever you want to do. Get rid of this shit. It's terrible. Get yourself um, some stoppers. Uh, make sure you get, here's like a stainless steel stopper. If you can see those, they only have the one little latch there. Make sure you get some red ones that have the extra. Those are good for braid. 
and put two of them, maybe a little bit of glue to hold them. I'll move these over to my braided line, but the braided line is so much easier. You can hold it, you get less blowback. If you hit bottom, it doesn't spool all off on you like this shit. Um, this stuff also kinks or gets tight on itself, so it'll almost get stuck and you have to wiggle the line after a while. Um, I just got my riggers brand new. This cable's all brand new and I'm still getting rid of it. It's shit. Get rid of it, guys. All right. So if you watch any of my videos, you'll see me running braid. Check it out, guys. Um, don't buy more of that steel shit. It's garbage. Absolute garbage. Not only that, if your boat's putting off any type of negative um, electricity, the fish are going to pick up on that and it's going to repel them, okay? That's why the cannon says positive ion. It's, it supposedly uh, puts down a positive charge on the cable and to attract fish. If you have the braid, there's absolutely no chance of you detracting them. Um, not only that, you're not going to get that electrostatic hum that... Yes, it tells you that you're usually going the right speed. But without it, the fish will come in a lot more. And I think your bites were going to go up. So get rid of the cable, try it out, even do one rigger, test it out. I promise you, you're going to get more fish and you'll never go back to the cable again. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.